Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. We are here, we are finally here at Mount Silver, about to face the final challenger in the game. The final battle guys, are you all ready? I am going to be opening with uh, Graveler for this. For, for fans of the game, you will already know why I'm doing it. Oh, by the way, I have not trained any of my Pokemon. Kadabra's got like a level, maybe a level or two. That's about it. Oh, I've given Haunter a new move set as well. It's a bit of an odd one, but I'll explain to you why I've done that as well. But here it is. It's Trainer Red. It's that's that's who it is, by the way, Trainer Red. He was the character you controlled in the first game. A lot of people think he's Ash. He's not, although technically he's kind of like Ash. But I don't really care if you want to call him Red or Ash. I don't care. It's up to you. <laughs> But yes, he starts out with a level 81 Pikachu, which is very weak uh, at the minute because it only knows Quick Attack. It does actually know uh, Thunder and Thunderbolt. However, because Gravelet is a ground type, well, and a rock type, Pikachu cannot do squat to it. So Pikachu should go down to two magnitudes, whilst Quick Attack does absolutely nothing. That should be night night for Pikachu. Pikachu is out of here. We are in the lead. Why have you not trained your Pokemon Upstart DJ? Well, because I fancied a bit of a challenge. This is the challenge of the entire team. Well, one of two. There's two Pokemon you seriously need to worry about. It's this guy, Espeon, and another one, which I'll tell you in a sec when, when I actually see it. Now, Espeon is trouble for me because I don't trump it for type. The only Pokemon that does trump it is Haunter. Pro can't use Haunter though because, well, Psychic will just annihilate it. What I'm having to do here is use Typhlosion, use Quick Attack to get any kind of damage on it. I do have Focus Band on Typhlosion, so he may survive this hit. Let's find out. I may be able to get another hit in with Quick Attack. Will I? And the Focus Band has prevailed! <laughs> now that might happen again. It could happen again. It is a total luck-based item. Let's find out. Am I lucky tonight? Nope, not tonight. Oh well. Now the only Pokemon I have which can really take on Espeon at the minute is Kadabra. I've given Kadabra the magnet to raise the power of its Thunder Punch. Uh, Kadabra has also been fed a lot of special um, special attack drugs, uh, calcium, and a lot of speed drugs as well, Carbos. Um, that will raise the base of both its special attack and its speed. Well, you know, Carbos will raise your speed, calcium will raise your special attack. So, oh, I'm doing okay. Oh, par paralysis, but oh, I'm, I'm fearing tra Trainer Ash might just use full restore. No! Okay, Kadabra has w wins the next battle. Thank God for that. Two down. Oh, Kadabra will be the kingpin. The linchpin. He will be the one that wins me this battle. Now, Snorlax knows two actual attacks. Snore and um, Body Slam. Ghosts are immune to both Snore and Body Slam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Curse on it. Curse will knock me down to 50% HP, but it will sap the HP of Snorlax. Doesn't matter about Amnesia, you can raise your special defense all you want. You will still lose a big portion of your um, of your uh, HP. I've also got Toxic here though. Uh, toxic will... I'm not sure if Curse still affects you if you're rested. Um, let's find out, shall we? Now, yeah, there you go. Now, Snorlax will definitely be asleep for two turns. So, you know, keep going, I say. I can't really do much for two turns. <laughs> but he will still lose HP on a consistent basis. He can rest all he wants. But, you know, for those two turns, he will still lose HP. And if I manage to get Toxic on him when he awakens... I will be all it will be all the better because he will still lose more HP. So curse plus toxic, he can't attack me. Score, basically. Now he should I think he'll wake up on this turn. He'll probably rest again. Yeah, okay. Different plan. Now I actually went back, I put Gyarados back in the box and I got Lapras out. Lapras knows Perish Song. 
Parasong will kill a Pokemon in three turns. So I'm going to try and uh, do that. If I can do that, that would be awesome. So yeah, let's bring Lapras in. I'm hoping that Trainer Red doesn't like switching. Because uh, I do. <laughs> right, one. He should be asleep for two. So I should... Uh, by the time I go back to Haunter... Hmm, this could be touch and go. Let's let's try. Right, Perry Song is activated. But he won't he technically shouldn't switch before the Yeah, Snore. This could be good actually. If he kills Lapras with Snore, no he doesn't. Oh well. Okay, he'll wake up on the next turn. Hopefully he will not switch when I switch to um Haunter. If he does switch, I may be in trouble. Let's find out. So Lapras back to Haunter. Thing is, if I can get Mean Look on him... Oh, Body Slam. Missed. Right. So that's that's him dead. I, I tricked him into the Body Slamming Lapras. Oh, wait. He's not dead yet. Okay. Mean Look. Right. Now he can't go anywhere. So even if he rests, he's dead in two turns. Yeah. Genius. Absolute genius. I have killed a Snorlax. <laughs> Snorlax was the second Pokemon I was worried about. I mean, seriously worried about. He has immense special uh, defense. And the only decent attackers I have on this team are Lapras, Typhlosion, and Kadabra. All special attackers. Well, by Lapras, who has Body Slam. But Body Slam will still do very nothing. Well, very nothing. <laughs> very nothing to Snorlax. Yes. I'm going to stick with very nothing. <sighs> but yes, I'm, I'm excited, guys. I am truly excited. I am ready to kill a Snorlax. Snorlax is dead. I didn't need to curse it, but hey. It was intuitive of me. It Well, ingenious, that's the word. And Lapras will get some HP as well, and level up for her troubles, or his troubles, or whatever gender it was. Free down, free to go. Venusaur! Now, Venusaur is a Pokemon Kadabra should be able to take out. Venusaur being a psychic and grass type means it is weak to psychic type attacks. Therefore, this should do a killing. Should. Should is the operative word here. Cross your fingers. What I, or, or, or I could always uh, switch into another Pokemon and revive Kadabra and attack again. Solar Beam? Yes, it used Solar Beam. Solar Beam is a two turn. Well, yeah. You, you charge on the first turn, you attack on the second with a powerful, I think, 120 base grass type move. If it's sunny, then you can attack on the first turn with it. But because it wasn't sunny, he's dead. So we're down to the last two. And Charizard is a uh, flying and fire type Pokemon. As it is a flying type, it is weak to Thunder Punch. I recommend Rock Pokemon for Charizard. He's times four weak to that. I need half damage. Good. Right, flamethrower. Yep, you can kill me if you want. I don't mind. I can I can go to another Pokemon and revive. Will I survive? Nope. Kadabra is down. That is not a problem, though, guys. That is not a problem. Right, who do I have? This is where the sacrificial lambs come in. Believe me. Right. Um, revive, revive Kadabra. Duh, duh. I don't know what other moves Charizard has. I think he might have something like Iron... No, Steel... He might have a... No, he won't have a Steel move, will he? I don't know his other moves. Uh, he might have Wing Attack because he's a Flying type. <laughs> I don't know. But because I am faster than Charizard, I will be able to get the Thunder Push Punch off early. Because I have the Magnet, I will have Boosted Attack. Because it's a Flying type, it should kill. Yes, it does. Final Pokemon. Now I am very excited. You have guessed. Venusaur, Charizard. What's the last Pokemon, you ask? It has to be Blastoise. And Blastoise, just like Charizard, will be weak to Thunder Punch. So uh, let's get that down, shall we? Now, Blastoise can become a big pain in the ass because it can use Rain Dance. And Rain Dance will boost the power of its Surf, which it's just used there. So be careful when you're playing with... Um, uh, Blastoise. Again, I don't know what other moves it has. I cannot for the life remember. S but, as we have Lapras here, if I can get a Perish Song off, do you reckon I can get a Perish Song off? Oh, I, I might survive this. 
I might survive this. Come on, Lapras. I believe. I actually have my fingers crossed. Come on, Lapras. Come on, Lapras. Yes. Perry Song is off. Oh, I've won. I have won. I just need to survive three turns. Oh, right. That's one. Okay. I'm going to revive Kadabra just in case. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I still have that antivirus problem. I, I don't know why my antivirus uh, wants to notify me that there's a scan going on when I'm doing a recording, but hey, <laughs> you didn't need to know that. Now, Blastoise being the last Pokemon, he cannot switch out. He cannot reset the counter, um, the, Peris, the Peris Sun counter, so he will die in two turns, which is fantastic. I know it's not honourable, guys. I know it is not a good way to win a battle. But as far as I'm concerned, I am an utter genius. <laughs> to use Perisong on uh, Snorlax, to be honest, it was the only way I could take it out without fighting moves or without super high leveled Pokemon. <sighs> oh, I can't believe I've almost done it. Let's bring Typhlosion in. I might get a Thunder Punch off if I am lucky. I should do. Down to one. Yeah, and Kadabra will be the last man standing. <laughs> wow. I have done this with low-level Pokemon and Kadabra. I do not recommend you do it. If you want to be brave, try it with le all level 50 Pokemon. But and Get something like a Houndoom, a Dark-type Pokemon. But that's game, everybody. And Kadabra will be level 65 and the last Pokemon standing. Look at that, special attack 200. That's it guys, Trainer Red, Ash Ketchum, Red, Ash, Red, Ash, whatever you want to call him, he's out of here. And he's still silent. 7,700. And he still won't say anything. And he vanishes. And here are the credits. Which I find a little odd, because we've already seen the credits. We've already seen the Blossoms dancing from left to right to left to right. All cute and lovely. <sighs> but yeah, that's the last battle in the game. That's the game, guys. That is everything. I Well, that's Pokemon Silver for you. Entai and Sukuna still running wild, but you know, I'm not going to catch them. I really can't be bothered. <laughs> After the Raikou incident, what's the point? Hey, look, it's Togepi. Do you remember back in the early stage of the game, we got the mystery egg? From Mr. Pokemon, we took it with us, it hatched into Togepi. Well, there you go, it's having a bit of a can-can there. You roll, Togepi, you roll. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Finally. This has been a hell of a long LP for me. It's my longest one yet. <laughs> Ellie Kid is still there, doing the hustle. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm lost for words, to be perfectly honest. I, I can't believe I've just done that. <laughs> Now, if YouTube was still at the 10-minute rule, I'd be starting a new uh, part by now, but I can, I'm allowed to go on and rant. Hooray! Now, that's Sentra. A good subscriber of mine called Pyro Raccoon pointed out that in the last credits, I said it evolved it into Lunoon. It doesn't. It evolves into the cutest Pokemon, as he put it, uh, Furret. So, apologies there. He's spinning around. You've seen all this. You've seen all these credits. So, there's nothing new at the minute. I think it's about to end, though. As far as I'm concerned, it's been a good LP. And it's not my favourite Pokemon generation, I must admit. I don't like the timing system. I don't like how the 16 badges. It just feels artificially long. But, you know, it's okay. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty good game. I love the music. I quite... You know, it's okay. I don't like roaming Pokemon. Roaming Pokemon can go to hell. <sighs> but yes, there it is, the end of the game, the end of the LP, the end of everything. We have defeated Red, we have defeated all 16 gym leaders in Kanto and Johto, and that's all I can offer to you. Um, you can catch Celebi without action replay, but I'm not going to show you that because it's far too confusing. So there's only one thing for me to say. Thank you for everyone who has watched this Let's Play. Thank you for all your kind words. Until the next Let's Play, I've been Upstart DJ. Thank you for watching. Sayonara, guys.